Hi, I'm Marvin from EduBirdy and today we're going to talk about how to write a reflection paper. So what is a reflection paper? Simply put, a reflection paper is your personal vision of a certain story and the way this story affects you or the others. There are three main types of reflection papers. Educational reflection paper is always connected to the course materials you're studying. It can be based on a book, lecture or a movie you studied in class. It's basically a short and more personal version of a review and your vision of the material. Here it's important to show your professor that you understand the relevance of the studied material and that it helps you with a course. Professional reflection papers are quite rare. They are mostly written by social workers, doctors or teachers to provide their description or feedback on the people they work with and situations those people got involved in. The most common one is a personal reflection paper. It focuses on your story, the experience you've had before and how it changed you. Action! Let's do it! Now, when you know what kind of reflection paper you need, let's see how to actually write one. Remember that regardless of the type of reflection paper you're writing, it should focus on your own experience. Be it a book, a story from your own life, or your feedback as a social worker. You should always tell what you felt about it and your own thoughts on the problem. The first thing to consider is focus. Every reflection paper has two main focuses or perspectives. The first one was already mentioned. It is basically you, how the story or experience affected you. The second one is the reader's perspective or your professor's. You have not only to reflect the story, but to show that the story reflected back, that it helps you with your course and lets you use new knowledge now. Let's talk about the story itself. How to engage the reader. How to show the experience so they can understand it. The paper is called Reflection because it reflects you. That's exactly how you should show your story. Try to be as precise as possible and share the details so readers can experience your vision with you or at least sense it. Tell them what happened, how did it happen, who was involved, what was your part, what did you feel or think at the moment and what was your reaction. <gasps> Remember that the best stories are those where you are the main character, the one who acts and makes decisions, even if they are bad ones, especially if they're bad ones. When you describe the circumstances, the next step would be to form a current opinion about the situation. Weigh it up. Analyze it. Was it a good experience or not? Try not to be one-sided. Show that the story can be perceived in both positive and negative light. Finally, tell what did you learn from this experience. Did it change you? How? Would you do the same thing again? If not, how would you approach this situation this time? Remember that your professor is mostly interested not in the situation itself, but how it affected you short or better long term. Use the words that reflect your emotions in the situation. For example, while I was confident about the outcome I didn't expect, or it was challenging for me to do. Or I was terrified of the very idea of my father finding out. Use a language that can share those feelings like 
I found or I felt. The news words that can evaluate this experience show what it brought you like. It reminded me, it taught me, it gave me. Your current vision on the problem can be shown by reflecting it to the future and showing how you would react. To do that, use such words as I hope to, I want to, and if that was to happen again. I hope it was useful and if you liked the video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel to find out more educational videos and content on academic writing. And remember, reflective paper is about your feelings, so it can never be wrong. The rest comes with practice.